everyone. Um, <clears throat> my name is Katie Maravich, and I have a cocaine problem. Yeah, obviously. Can we get back to the pitch meeting? Wait, you guys knew about this? Yes. Yeah. That's like your thing, right? Like you're neurotic and paranoid and you do a ton of cocaine. And you have lupus and insomnia and don't have any close friends. Mm. People typically like you at first and then they get to know you and they don't much care for your personality. Okay, okay, I get it. Anyway, last night I was completely out of control. Yeah, again, Katie, we know, we were there. You ruined the company party. Shut up, you f idiots. I am trying to apologize here. She's also temperamental. Mm. You are so right. Mm. That's yeah. actually I was actually gonna problem. say that. I okay, fine. That. Can I just continue? Thanks. <clears throat> I started doing coke so I'd be more fun at parties. It became a part of my identity. Katie and cocaine became entwined. It's all anyone on our YouTube channel would comment about. However, I don't like the monster it turns me into. I lose control of my actions and I hurt others. Katie, you've my... said all this before and then just gone right back to doing cocaine again. I bet you have coke on you right now. No! Come on. Fine, yes, but I'm gonna get rid of it. God, I'm just, I'm trying to earn your respect. Hey, sorry I'm late, the other meeting ran long. Oh, what's going on, Trav? Is there something I can help with? I mean, just say the word. No, you're fine. Oh. So listen, the higher-ups have been really breathing down my neck and they're gonna be making some changes around here. To begin with, we're gonna be renting out half our floor to that douchebag Sparks dating app company. Yeah, I think they just got here. <laughs> Uh, we're having poke bowls for free lunch today. Again? It's crazy how they make something free feel like work. I know. Oh my god. They're so much more attractive than us. Speak for yourself. No, they are. There's hot, and then there's cool hot. And they're just hot. Allie, all of us are sixes at best. I can think of someone hotter. So this is gonna get in the way of our shooting, but it shouldn't affect us too much if we manage it right. Second, we need to start appealing to advertisers more, so no more swearing in sketches. Oh. No, okay, I'm sorry, it's just how it has to be. No more swearing, no more explicit sexual content. Now that feels like it's directed at me. It is, and this is directed at Katie. No more drug use in our videos. That won't be a problem for me because I don't do cocaine anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some cocaine to get rid of. What? <laughs> no, Katie, you can't do that <laughs> in the middle of the workday. What weekend are you free for Big Bear? I'm planning that birthday thing. I'm not, I'm not free. You're not free? I'm okay. Not free. Oh, I wanted to tell you, there's actually a unit opening in my apartment building. So it might be like a fun chance for us to live close and carpool. Katie, Katie, listen to me, okay? What? We're not friends. This is the weirdest dealer user relationship that I've ever had. <sighs> Look, can we just handle this quickly, please? Yeah. Like, how much do you want? How much do I want? Oh, of cocaine? Use the code word Pokemon. 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 Yes. Well, anyway, I'm not making a purchase. I'm here to do a return. What are you crazy? You can't return drugs. Yes, I can. No, you Yes, can't. I absolutely can. I have a receipt. You wrote that. This happened. Look, are you going to buy more or no? No, I don't want to buy more. OK, then we have nothing to talk about. Come on, what am I going to do with $5,000 worth of Coke? I don't know. That's not my problem. 
You are being so incredibly unreasonable right now, and I hate having to do this, but I'm gonna need to speak to your manager. Screaming Eddie. You wanna talk to Screaming Eddie? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, well, good luck with that. I gotta get out of here. Hey, Samson, where are you going? Samson, do you wanna hang out later? I have to go back to work now, but we can hang out later. Samson, how dare you walk away from me? It's okay, I forgive you. We've had fun together, but we both know we need to end things. Ew. Why are you sitting on the floor? Hey, get out of here! Wait, are you flushing coke down the office toilet? This is a private stall. What if I was naked? Oh my god, she is. Is it laced with laundry detergent? I hate that. I am not a shirt. Mm -mm. Are you kidding me? This is the creme de la coke. I love snorking this shiz. This is my favorite shiz to snork. Why are you talking like that? I don't know, but I'm clean now, so. Well, we're not. Gimme. Mmm, <gasps> this is incredible. Really? Don't flush this. What am I gonna do with it? Cause I'm not gonna snore in it. Well, we'll take some. Yeah, this is Los Angeles. You could probably sell the rest. Well, technically, it's West Hollywood, which is its own city. It was incorporated in 1984. Well, technically, it is Los Angeles County, so nothing I said was factually inaccurate. But I, too, am fascinated by the municipality divides across the county. Okay, that's technically true, but... Okay, okay. Where can I sell this? Ooh. I have seen drugs passed around club devotion. Mm -hmm. You should try there. Give me oh, some go, 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 go. Cheers. Anyway. to check my bag? <laughs> no, nah, I can tell you're not up to anything. Excuse me? What does that even mean? Just because I'm some skinny, unassuming white girl, I can't be up to anything? This is a massive bag. Who brings a massive bag to a club? I could have anything in here. You're right. I should check your bag. No, don't check my bag. Tuesday. Last week was wild. <laughs> Do you like dancing? <clears throat> yeah, me too. What about music? You good with music? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Actually, my girlfriend got us stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We move, I'm cold. I love that you come to me. And we don't have to deal with some creepy, aggressive guy. Buy from me. I really love buying from you. Like, truly. <laughs> I don't even normally buy drugs, but you like make it so fun. Oh, thank you. I'm making so
Screaming Eddie? We got a problem. Have you tried meditation? You seem very stressed out. Yeah, but that's not gonna help us. No. No, I always thought it was strange that his name's Screaming Eddie when he's so soft-spoken. <laughs> yeah, it's an ironic nickname. Yeah, but it's not ironic because underneath that pleasant exterior lies a real sociopath, you know? He screams with actions. So, it's an ironic, ironic nickname. One more. So it's not ironic at all? Wait. Wow. Gentlemen. No side conversations, please. Yeah, that was him. OK, Joey. Let's get to it. Well, I was at my usual spot last night. Only something's a little different, because nobody's buying, at least not for me. Another dealer on our turf. Could it have been the Romanos? That's what I thought. Then I saw a bunch of powder princesses coming out of ladies' room, so I peeked in. There's a woman dealing in there. <laughs> a lady dealer? No! Language, Carlo. Sorry. I don't know no woman working for the Romanos. I think it's somebody else. Somebody new. Well, Joey, did you confront her? No. A guy, I can't go in the ladies' room, that ain't right. Yeah, what do you, boss, you can't just go in the ladies' room. They got couches I tried once. Did you at least get a good look at her? It was quick, so I don't remember much. But she appeared to be in her 20s. Tallish, very Slavic looking, really long features, but on a tiny, tiny head. Kind of like a praying mantis woman. Blonde hair, about up to here. Mm, it seemed like maybe she had lupus or some other autoimmune disease. Oh, my sister's got lupus. She gotta be careful in the sun. I'll never forget her voice. The most bizarre accent I ever heard. American, for sure, but uh, all proper. Like Frasier, or like a 1930s movie star, and way too much addiction. Like she's speaking to someone who's hard of hearing. That sounds awful. If I had to guess, I bet she's pretty neurotic and paranoid. Probably suffers from insomnia. Joey, I want to thank you for bringing this to my attention. Now I'd like you to go and find her. I'll do it. Why such enthusiasm, Samson? I just hate when people step on our turf. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wonderful. Well, why don't you all go and look for her? And please, don't stop until you find her. I would like you to bring me her head. And her arms. And her toes. And the rest of her body. They should all be attached. Was that unclear? <laughs> <laughs> I do want her alive. I'm so alive, and I'm ready to get working. I am gonna go the extra mile. I am gonna grease my little elbows. I'm gonna grind my nose stone. Is that a Coke thing? You back on Coke already? Shut up. I told you I was getting rid of it yesterday. Kitty, have you finished that rewrite on the Splish Soda sketch? The last thing I saw just said Splish, Splish, Bish, and then Katie flosses for two minutes. Th that's not a sketch. Um, so I was really busy yesterday and I didn't do it, but I'm gonna work on it today. Kitty, I don't have time for your excuses, okay? Can you get it to me by Thursday? Yeah. We could always film my sketch, Little Shop Theaters. No, guys, okay, we talked about this. No more sex, no more swearing, no more drug stuff, okay? Come on, Trap. Paint me green and give me that booty. Stop saying that to me. Anyway, I will get you that rewrite no matter what. Stop talking about doing it and just do it. You got it, boss. I am going to sit down and I'm going to write. Nothing will make me leave. Hey, <gasps> you have to leave now. What? I can't leave. My boss will kill me. OK, will he actually kill you? Because my boss will definitely kill you. What are you talking about? And why haven't you accepted my Facebook friend request yet? I didn't get it. Really? That's weird, because it says it's pending on my side. Okay, look, did you deal drugs last night? No, of course not. I was just selling my supply to make my money back. God, Katie, that's drug dealing. <laughs> no, it's not. I would know if I were drug dealing, OK? Drug dealers sell drugs to make money. I was selling my drugs for money. You are in big trouble. Dangerous men are looking for you, so we need to get out of here now before somebody else finds you. What, what's going on? Why are you smiling? We're friends. 
That sounds like a friend. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not friends. This is not a friendship thing. This is a I don't want your death on my conscience thing. That's the thing about friends. They don't want each other to die. Katie. Oh, fine, I'm coming, I'm coming. Katie, I'm sorry I snapped at you. It's just things aren't really going well right now, and she's gone. Great. Well, I'm here. If you want to talk, if you want to get lunch, get a drink. Oh, paint me green and give me that booty. Hey, I gave you a nickname. Sandwich. Hey, give me a nickname, okay? Just okay. say what I told you to say and nothing else. Who's this? Hi, I'm Katie. Shut up, shut up. Uh, she's with me. Screaming at you wanted to see you. Samson, what a pleasant surprise. I found her. Joey, can you confirm? Yeah. That's her, all right. You found her quick. D yeah, um, Joey's description of her was very accurate, actually. Mm. Turns out this whole thing was just a big misunderstanding. <laughs> you right, Katie? Yes, I'm so sorry, Mr. Scream, and I did not mean to step on your turf. It's just I was trying to get rid of some cocaine that I no longer needed. She didn't even know what she was doing. <laughs> like, totally clueless. <laughs> I had some understanding. I'm not a total idiot. Okay, shut up, Katie. The point is, clearly this person is no drug dealer. Just look at her. What does that mean? Who will she pose a threat to? No one, no one, no one will consider this person a threat. Especially not a big oh, drug dealer like you. God. Excuse me, I did sell like $5,000 worth of cocaine in one hour, so. Which was a mistake, like you said earlier. I mean, she couldn't do it again. She wouldn't know how. Right, Katie? No. What do you mean, no? Do you think you're a better drug dealer than I am? What are you doing? Because you are not. You're always late, you're so rude to me, you never want to hang out. I have people texting me left and right Jeez. wanting more drugs. Jeez. I am 10 times the drug dealer you are. Don't tell Jeez. me to shut up. Say no more, Katie. You're hired. Thanks for watching that episode of Kingpin Katie. If you liked it, hold on to your butts because there's more full episodes you can watch right now on Dropout. Go to dropout.tv and start your free trial today. You can stop holding on to your butts now. Don't try anything funny. Okay, I'm a comedy writer though. So it's gonna be hard. Are you being funny right now? Um, like subtly. Don't ever interrupt me. Okay.